Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today, I want to get real about something that is really serious and means a lot to me and I hope will mean a lot to you guys too. And it's honestly been something that I've been umming and ahhing over whether to bring up with you guys. I've had anxiety about bringing up, but I think it needs to be said. So let's just get into it. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So before I get into today's video, which is... Mm, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot. Get ready for it. I do have to give a huge shout out to my friends at Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And I want to let you all know, if you are strapped for Christmas gift ideas for the men in your life, because let's face it, men are so freaking difficult to get gifts for. Like, why are you all so hard? You just are. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just me. Does anyone else think men are difficult to get gifts for? Anyway, Manscaped have like everything that a guy could ever want. And actually, their products are great for gals too. I personally use their 3.0 shaver on my bikini region. And I use their cologne. I really love it. So... I've got y'all a 20% discount code. You actually don't even need a code. You just need my link. So I've got a link below this video and the code is like embedded in there. So you just click the link, you go to Manscaped, you buy whatever you guys wanna buy, get your Chrissy shopping all sorted. And when you get to your card, it will just automatically apply that 20% off. And you are just so welcome. So this is a little bit different from my regular videos because I want to talk about something very personal and I know the people that are watching this right now are probably people that really have been following this channel for a while and watch a lot of my content. They're the people that actually like follow what I do and know me for me as well as the content that I put out and I just I just love the little family and community that I have been able to create here on YouTube. I'm so grateful every day even to be able to do this as a job. But there is a very dark side to this job and it's something that I do really want to address right now. And it's specific to being a woman and it is the constant, relentless, never ending commentary that I get on my appearance. Some of you might not be aware of this, but I'm not a model. <laughs> uh, no, I did not get onto YouTube <laughs> or into a career of being a sex columnist to look pretty. Obviously, like most gals, I like to make myself look presentable, especially when I'm being on camera, but I certainly did not get into this profession to look good or to be attractive or visually appealing to anyone. Because I've been on camera for a few years now, those of you that have followed me for a while have noticed that my appearance has changed a lot in the last year. And I did a video about that a while ago, really going into it and actually sort of explaining what actually happened with my weight. And if you're interested in that, you can watch it in proper depth here. But to sum it up, basically I was on medication for a couple of years that caused me to put on a huge amount of weight that was just not normal for my body. I needed to put on that weight while I was on the medication. It was just a side effect and that medication was helping me with some really very debilitating mental health issues that I was going through, so I don't regret going on it. But when I eventually came off the medication, my weight returned to normal. The weight that I am now is essentially the weight that I've been my entire adult life. So if you started watching me on YouTube when I started my YouTube journey like a few years ago, that was actually right after I just put on most of the weight from the medication. So you might have thought that that was my normal weight, but people who've known me longer will know that this is actually the weight that I normally sit at. I also want to say there's no right or wrong weight to be. I personally did not think there was anything wrong with me being that way for those years that I was that way, and I don't think there's anything wrong with being this weight and like I say it was a side effect of my medication and I'm so grateful for that medication. Obviously other things have changed about my appearance recently as part of taking care of my mental health I started seeing a personal trainer and really getting into strength training just to feel really good in myself in terms of setting goals, being able to lift lift heavy weights that honestly I never in my whole life thought I would be able to lift and I've been honestly so proud of myself and it's helped so much with my mental health journey to go into the gym and know that I can lift heavier and heavier weights every month that I'm going back there and I'm making that progress with my trainer. 
I absolutely did not start seeing a personal trainer to transform my body. Obviously a natural I guess consequence of working out and doing a lot of weights is that I've built some muscle. Um, not particularly mad about it, not gonna lie. Just watch out for the guns, they'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is that um, I've never been focused on body transformation because I actually went through an eating disorder when I was in my 20s and it was horrible and it's not something I'd wish upon anyone. Unfortunately, it's something that a lot of women go through and something that I learned from that experience was to really just not focus on so much on the way my body looks and focus more on what it can do. And so the exercise I do is not about punishing my body. It's not about trying to get my body to look a certain way. It's actually about celebrating my body and the amazing, incredible things that it can do when I put work in in the gym and with my other forms of exercise that I do. And look, my hair has changed. Obviously, um, I had short hair for a long time and I got some hair extensions a while ago. Some of you thought that like my hair grew overnight, which I kind of love that you think that I'm that magical that I could grow my hair that quickly, but no, sadly, um, these are just extensions very expensive ones too. Needless to say, my appearance has changed and changing appearances are a part of life. People's weights change, people age and so that we get lines and wrinkles. We change our hairstyles, we, we exercise or we don't exercise. We're going through all different things. And I think it's so important not to comment on people's changing bodies because the most of it is stuff that's really out of our control. While I've been out of control the fact that I've been building some muscle in the last year, I really wasn't in control of my body weight over these last few years because there was medication at play. And it really honestly was so infuriating to hear people constantly commenting on my videos online as I was getting bigger, telling me that I was being lazy. When people had no idea the side effects that I was going through on that medication, I mean, I was absolutely crippled with fatigue. I could barely get off my couch most days. So it had nothing to do with being lazy. I would actually say that I'm a very motivated person. Now that I've got my energy back, I go to the gym four times a week. But I'm also not saying that as like a brag or like it's a morally superior thing to go to the gym because I go to the gym because I enjoy it and it's great for my mental health. Some people hate the gym and those people shouldn't go. It's neither good nor bad to be someone that works out a lot or to be someone that doesn't like working out and is in a heavier body. And also, I don't wanna say that just because you're in a bigger body means you don't work out because there are plenty of people in bigger bodies that work out. My point is, what is really toxic is the fact that because I'm in an online space, like a lot of other women that are in the online space, people feel like they're entitled to comment on my body. And I have, look, I would say that I'm a fairly strong person and being in this online space has made me strong, but I've had nights where honestly, I've just gone to bed and cried and cried from some of the things people have said online. A lot of the times I think people think they're giving me compliments. Like my first few videos that I did uh, coming back after I had a break out of lockdown and I did look quite different with my longer hair and I'd obviously lost some weight. Every single comment on that video was not about the content of the video. It was a sex education video. It had nothing to do with my appearance. Every single comment was about, wow, you're looking so much better now. You finally lost the weight. Good work on losing that weight. You look so much healthier. First of all, you guys don't know anything about my health. So please don't make those assumptions about me. Second of all, we shouldn't be making assumptions about anyone based on how they look. There are some people who are in very thin bodies that are very unhealthy, and there are some people in big bodies that are much healthier than people in thin bodies. Unless you're a doctor, you shouldn't be making any kind of assumptions or comments on someone's health. But the thing that was most hurtful was people trying to tell me that I look better now, because that obviously insinuates that I looked somehow horrible before. And it's also hurtful to put so much work into my content and making really meaningful, well-researched sex education content and then read 20, 30, 40 comments that are all about the fact that I look skinny or that my hair looks better or that I've got a tan now or whatever it is that you guys are commenting on because I like to think that I'm not an object. I like to think that I'm more than my appearance. I actually like to think that my appearance is the least interesting thing about me. Yeah, that's really, really hard. Um, just video after video, every time I put up a video, 
to have people relentlessly commenting on how I look. When I was in a bigger body, I used to get a lot of very nasty comments telling me that I was lazy and that I needed to get back to the gym. And now because I'm in a smaller body, people can't call me fat. So now when people troll me, they like to say things like I'm old or I'm over the hill or just that I'm ugly. And frankly, at the end of the day, I don't really care if you find me ugly or beautiful or you think I'm super sexy or you think I'm like so below average looking, it's not even funny. I didn't start making a sex education channel to be visually appealing to anyone. It does suck that I know that if I were in a man's body, I wouldn't really be putting up with constant comments on my body weight and my hairstyle and my nails and people constantly weighing in, giving me advice on how I can improve or congratulating me on so-called improvements that I've made. I don't think the way that I look right now is an improvement on the way I looked before. My body is just changing. My hairstyle and my sense of fashion or what I do with my nails just changes based off my mood and that's just that. And I really encourage you not only to make a point of not commenting on people's appearances online, even if you think you're giving a compliment, but don't do it in real life either. I think especially when we do it to women, what we really are saying to women is the most important, significant, interesting thing about you right now is how you look to me, your appearance, how aesthetically pleasing you are. And that's kind of shitty to say that that's the most noticeable significant thing and i know there's gonna be a lot of people in the comment section saying oh god there's a helicopter flying over right now i swear every time i film there's like a helicopter flies over i don't know what happens when i'm filming <laughs> it's always like some kind of like police raid or something <laughs> anyway back to my point I know there are going to be people in the comment section that are going to say, this is BS. Like, it's like we can't even give women a compliment now. But that's so not true. There's so many amazing compliments you can give people. I would love nothing more than to be complimented on my content. And some of you guys do compliment me on your content. Some of you guys will leave comments saying, you know what, I've learned so much from watching your videos and I just want to thank you. And those comments, those comments make my day. Those comments light up my world because that means so much to me because that's why I'm here. And when I get a comment telling me I look pretty or I look ugly or it's good that I've lost weight or, I, or I'm or i losing too much weight and now I need to put on more weight because we know that the goalposts are always moving for women. And no matter how thin we get, it's never right. It's never the right size anyway. Or no matter how pretty we get, it's just not the right level of prettiness. So I'm never going to win at that. I'm never going to win at being pretty and thin enough. So I'm not going to bother trying. Instead, what I'm going to try to do is bring you my best content and hope that you guys can see me as a human being and not an object. And I know sometimes maybe it can feel like I'm an object because I'm on a screen that you're watching, but I am a person here. When I turn off this camera, I go back to my life. I have a girlfriend at the moment who I really love and I'm just super loved up and happy with. I'm launching a podcast in January that I'm really excited about. I'm not seeing my family this year for Christmas and I'm kind of sad about that. I've got all sorts of things going on in my life and they all make up who I am and who I am is more than just this visual that you see. I just wanted to put that out there because this is not specific just to me, this is something that I see so many female creators, both on YouTube and especially on Instagram and TikTok, putting up with. And it is something that I'm not saying it doesn't happen to men, but it overall happens so much less to men because we have been taught as a culture to actually look at men as like fully whole human beings and just to look at women as objects that are just there to appeal to people. I'd like to say that, you know, I'm strong to it and it never affects me, but sometimes this shit really hurts my feelings. And sometimes when you guys see that I haven't put up a video in a while, it's because of this. It's because I don't want to get on screen another day and have people pick apart the way I look. It's exhausting and it's really hard and sometimes it makes me not want to do this job at all. So please think about that. Think about that when you comment on people's content online and think about that when you comment 
to people in real life. Think about other amazing types of compliments you can give that compliment what sort of person someone is, how kind they are, what sort of a friend or mother or sister they are, how funny they are, what sort of good stories they tell, how generous or giving they are. Find things that recognize someone as a human being and not just as a physical object. And I'm sorry if that was a bit ranty. Like I say, I've been really honestly on the fence about whether or not I come on here and say this because I want to keep this channel about sex education, but I think I'd be doing not just myself, but my fellow female creators a disservice if I didn't get on here and say this. And if even one person finishes watching this video and thinks twice before you leave a comment online or before you say something to a woman in real life about the way she looks, then it's worth me coming on here and saying this, even if I get trolled and abused about it because there's always someone that wants to have a go at me for what I have to say. So that that is what it is. So yeah, that's what I have to say. If you're still here, I'm gonna assume you're probably already a subscriber, but if you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe because I'm not normally making this sort of content. I'm normally making sex education and pleasure education content, content about female pleasure and queer sexuality as well. And I would love you to join my sex positive family. And yeah, give this video a like if you did enjoy it. If you didn't, you're allowed to give it a thumbs down. That's acceptable as well. Feedback is feedback. And I will see you all in the next video. And make sure you check out Manscaped because honestly, it's such a great, amazing Christmas gift idea and you guys get a 20% off discount, so it's like a no-brainer. So go and do that, because obviously when you support them, you support me to stay here in this job, getting sponsors like Manscaped, who I freaking love. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.